narcissistic collapse. It's not that I hate this topic, I hate that this is what happens. But if you were raised by a family that has narcissistic traits, whether you know it or not, you've gone through a collapse. And what that means is when you start to break free from them and you start to have autonomy and something goes wrong and you fall back down into the old identity, it is a collapse. Watch this video. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, click the subscribe button, the bell to receive notifications when I release new videos. And if you've been here for a while, thank you so much and welcome back. Just a reminder, my free trial, two week free trial in the truth room is going strong. If you don't see the link, just comment below and I'll send it to you directly. Let's dive in. I call this the narcissistic collapse. It's when you don't yet know that you've been raised by someone with narcissistic traits. You actually think that you're you know, they have your back, they're your best friend, you're the only support that you have because you have not individuated enough to have a self-depending aspect to you. You still depend on the full support and opinions of others to confirm, deny, validate, and validate the truth of you. This happens if you still find yourself in narcissistic partnerships. The reason you're in narcissistic partnerships is you grew up with some of these traits and you don't know it yet. So this is healing the original wound. If you haven't checked out my I Am Worthy course, please check that out. It's on demand. Also, Shadow Work is going live in June. If you want to do live work with me to dive deep, check out Shadow Work. This is a shadow aspect because you're not aware of it. So when you think about this, the collapse is things are going good. You're starting to feel you know, into yourself. You're starting to think for yourself. You're starting to feel like life is kind of reflecting a new version of you. And then something happens that you need support in because you're not fully autonomous yet, which is most people. And so you go back to that original system that nourished you and nurtured you and raised you for the support. And they can't give it to you. All they can give you is what they've already given. This is why you were developed and conditioned the way that you were. So we go someplace for support on something new and we get the old version of understanding and it collapses us back into the old vibration we came from, narcissistic collapse. Now, what to do when there is no one around to help you understand? When I was a teenager and I had my awakening and I had some difficult things coming up after the awakening, which you might have seen in my last video, when you first have an awakening, shit hits the fan, so you get to actually be the change. So you get to actually transform it with your new understanding in an old um, situation. But if you can't hold on to your new understanding because you're dealing with something very difficult and you have no support, what do you do? Many of you collapsed. You blame yourself for your collapse. You didn't know how to get out of your collapse. Then life kind of took its toll on you because of the collapse. You don't know how to get yourself back. You blame yourself for not being strong enough. You blame God for being no support for you. This is actually when I decided to go to God for everything and listen to my instincts. I would have inner guidance and I would have doubts along with it because I wasn't sure yet. This is a part of the journey. The part of the journey is how you navigate and what you learn from it and how you recover. But if you stay in a spiral of shit and you're still looking to undependable people that you depend on and you still have so much self-doubt because you don't know how to just have a little faith, this is your God part. That's not your fault, by the way, but it is part of your journey. If you find yourself in this situation where there's no way out, you don't know how to hold on to you, you're in a collapsed state. You don't know what it is, but I'm telling you what it is. You're collapsing from all the old conditioning, filtering back into your new way. You don't know how to attach to your new way because there's no one around you that has high enough vibration or consciousness to pull you forward. So anyway, back to my story. When I was a teenager, I was having all this, obviously, spiritual understandings all of a sudden drop in. And there was no way the freaking family that I was born to was going to validate or confirm my understandings. So then I was in doubt about it. But what I did is I kept searching, seeking. Now you're a seeker. You're a light worker on a journey of seeking. And I kept seeking and reading. 
and, and listening to things and listening to people and, that were resonating with me and really having to go against my family of origin because they still couldn't validate or understand. This is when I felt very separate, but I realized that my separation from them was not negative. It was positive. I was understanding something that no one could understand and no one could support, which was my entire childhood. And then I realized it's not like, oh, they're bad and I'm good. It's that some people are more aware, some people are more awake, some people are more healed, other people aren't there yet, don't want to be there, have made their own choices. You don't have to make the same choices as the collective you came from. Many of you are still living in communities and, and societies that are sleeping. And you're like, how come I'm the only one that understands? Where are my people? Where are my conscious community? Join the truth room. I had to create my community because I couldn't fucking find it. The truth room is what I created for like-minded souls that vibrate at a higher level that have healing to do together instead of healing to do with people that can never help them heal. This is the whole point, right? So if you're in this collapse... You can get out, but what you have to do is get really real about the people you're asking about for support. They couldn't get you there in the first place. You got yourself there. So they're not going to be able to help you maintain that. They're going to take you down. Knowing that is key. Knowing that people you put on a pedestal to help you survive at one stage in life is now going to be the detriment to your emotional growth. How do I find my tribe? How do I find my tribe? Join the truth room. If you don't like the truth room because you get two-week free trial, go somewhere else that's an online spiritual community. No, it's not in person, but guess what? I'm doing my first retreat in October. Y'all going to meet. <laughs> so it doesn't mean they're going to be in your community. Let me tell you something. I've been working online for over 10 years. My deep dives are usually with my people online. My community around me, none of my soul sisters live in the state that I live in right now. Zero of them. None. But I get to work from home with communities I've created online that are totally my people. So I get my hit. I get my fill. And then, like, next weekend, one of my girlfriends is flying in. We're going to have a girls weekend. So I do that. Every month I at least connect with or see them. I always FaceTime and I'm always talking to them all week long, right? But if you're not having that, join an online community. Become friends with people on the online community. Do meetups. Do my retreat. Find people that you don't have to live near, by the way. Everyone's like, well, I don't know where to live. doesn't matter where you live. I live in the middle of nowhere right now. But I still feel so connected to my people because I had to create it. So you may not have the capacity or the time or the money or whatever to create your own community. Great. Join one that's been created. I'm, I'm stressing this to you because I believe that connection is the biggest healer and disconnect is the biggest wounder of our generations. We need connection. We need emotional harmony. We need emotional mirroring. We need spiritual resonance. We need deeper understandings so we can anchor ourselves to minimize collapse. And when we do collapse, we can come back and have resolve. I'm saying this to you also because so many people have had a collapse. And when I talk about it, they're like, oh, you're the first person that understands what I experienced. Well, I do it. I experience it. And I resonate with it because I had it 30 years ago. When I was 15 years old, nearly 16, I had the collapse, didn't understand what the hell it is. I now use my time and my wisdom from those experiences to help you understand yours and dig you out so you don't have to go back to collapse. And you can start to rebuild because what you have to understand also is when you've had an awakening, you don't lose it. It just gets repressed for a while because there's nothing around to support its growth. So you didn't lose yourself. You're just hanging out in the repression zone. You're hiding out. I'm here to help you shine. Again, Shadow Work starts in June, live with me every single week to answer your questions for 12 full weeks. If you can't make the live, don't worry. It's recorded and you can email me your questions. There are 12 weeks of massive amounts of material in there for you to dig into the mother wound, the father wound, the tribal injuries, your golden shadow and your dark shadow. Because when you see the truth of who you are, you don't worry about what other people think and you have certainty about self. So nothing can make you doubt ever again. So please check out Shadow Work if you're interested. Links are below. Please join us in the truth room if you feel called free for two weeks. What else do I got for you? Um, please make sure you're on my mailing list to hear about my retreat in October. It's going to be incredible. I am so excited. I don't even want to tell you guys what I'm doing because it's so awesome. <laughs> yes, I'm going to say that. But there are huge surprises at my retreat, especially Saturday evening is one to remember. So 
Check out all these things. Stay in touch. Comment below if you want information. Please share this with one person. Please come say hi on my other socials. I love you guys and have a great week.